Hello, welcome back to the course on debating with Capella. Uh, now we're going to go on to a section where basically we're going to ensure that the logical architecture delivers systems capabilities. Uh, in this phase, it's really one of the more uh, interesting and enjoyable parts of it because it really shows that you've completed uh, this logical architecture phase. So what you want to do here is this capability we're going to talk about and regarding this capability. So we'll focus on this logical architecture and basically the now the ensuring the logical architecture delivers the system's capabilities. Uh, that section of it is seen here in red, basically you can see it. And what we're doing is we're basically taking the operational capabilities that were originally defined and when we went through the system analysis, we created capabilities for the system of provide location and provide the status. And then we made sure that they were, there was functional chains for each one of those. And they were very simple at that point in time. But now we need to go and we've done the process of creating the system, uh, the logical functions and mapping them to components. And we made, need to make sure that we have the same uh, pr functions that are delivered now through functional chains in the logical architecture it needs to be done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the model and we're going to go through uh, doing this process. So here's the logical architecture. I'm going to open up the logical architecture that we've been working on for the, the system. I'm going to open up the, the ch basically the, the change for the operator. So there's the change for the operator. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the functional chains. Now these functional chains we brought over earlier uh, through a transition. Uh, if I hadn't brought over the transition earlier, I would go to the system analysis and do that step. Uh, uh, but in this case, I'm going to assume that it's already been brought across because we did it earlier in the video. Sure enough, there they are. So I'm going to add the provide location in and the provide status functional chains into this model. So they were brought over and you'll see that the, they've been lit up with the colors. Now, one of the things to notice is that we're getting an indication on one of them that it's invalid. So, well, let's look at that one first. And it makes sense because here's receive location, gather location from um, chargers. Here's provide location. And we notice that, you know, these this, this part here isn't uh, connected. And that makes sense because those are items that we added in, when we were doing the functions for it. Uh, the provide status, uh, we need to basically get this gather performance information connected to it. So now how do you go ahead and mod how do you go and modify the, the, the Functional chains is what I'm going to show next. It's, I'm going to open up here and I'm going to open up the functional chain to basically modify it. And we'll make it so that we can see what the functional chain looks like side by side. And the first thing I notice is I have these disconnected blocks. That definitely causes uh, an invalid condition. So I'm going to take those disconnected blocks and get rid of them. So now they're gone. And now I basically just have the the endpoint, you know, the receive status, and you can see that it already changed. So now what I need to do is I need to add, or, I need to add this, this, and this to uh, the gather location. Actually, I mean this, this, and that. So I need to add those. So how do I do that is I basically go up over here to exchange and function. I'm going to click on that, and it's just going to prompt me for what are the possible things I can add. And you can see it here, now provide location is added. And then I'm going to go and add the next one, compute, and then I'll add one more. And I'll add in the last one, which is the actor for the provide GPS. And that's done. And then I can even go over here and say layout, and I can say range all. And it'll make it look a little prettier than what it did before. So that one's done. So that's one functional chain that now is being shown, and I'm now sh showing that those functions are being delivered across multiple parts of the system. Uh, the next one, I'll close that one up, and we'll do the functional chain for provide status. Notice also the invalid is gone. Okay, I'm going to that level, and we'll do the same thing. I'll split the screen for it. And I see receive status, send status. Uh, we're basically going to go ahead and add to it. Okay. 
and finally, and that's it. So that's get provide performance information. So and I'm going to just do this layout. And that basically completes the functional chains. Now the last thing I might want to do is add some more details on it uh, and on some requirements possibly or constraints on the functional chain. But for right now, I'm just going to go with that. And uh, that completes the, uh, the section on ensure logical architecture delivers the system capabilities. Now the, the, and you can double check one thing I can check too when I do this. So I should close this guy up as I can show provide status. I can show, you know, what's there's, there's provide. There's actually a capability that's brought across provide status. That's actually a capability in the logical architecture. I can also see that there's a realized functional chain here. And so I can go and look at that. That realized functional chain is, uh, goes to a system capability, uh, that's, that's basically related to it. So it shows that there are relations and the connections are all provided and it connects it all together. That's it for this section. Thank you.